Hey, 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 we got 900 miles in the dark, baby. There it is. 900 miles. Yeah. Woohoo. There it is. 900 miles, baby. In the dark. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 900 miles, baby. Yep. Two hours before sunrise. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Wow. The forest just smells super delicious this morning. Sweet. Mmm. Wet. Humid. But not an uncomfortable humid. A nice coolness. Ah. It's wonderful. Hey, 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 what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Day number 65 out here on the Appalachian Trail, man. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Look, I was, as you can see, I was up early today. And uh, part of that is because of the heat in the afternoon. Um, although, as soon as I do that, it's been cooler days the last two days. But uh, in any case, look how beautiful it is walking into the sunrise back there. I mean, it's just... It's fantastic. So I, I think I'm going to keep doing this as the, as the spring progresses and we get into summer. I'm just going to be an early morning warrior. That's what it is. I mean, check out that behind me. I mean, I'll show you a better shot of it soon. But uh, just to walk into that sunrise every day, man, it's fantastic. The forest smells wonderful this morning. I kind of mentioned it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's wet. It's vibrant everything's so green it's alive it makes me feel just wonderful being out here as a part of it i mean man oh man if you're you got to go out into the forest in your own neighborhood sometimes just go out into the park and go for a walk That's what this feels like this morning it's fantastic hey i got about uh a 20 mile day planned i was at the pine hut last night pine nut hut and then I'm going to the Bear Fence. I think it's Bear Fence Hut tonight. Um, it's going to be about a 20-mile day. I should get there sometime early this afternoon. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm enjo enjoying the walk, to be honest with you. So yesterday, that wayside, I never did make it to the wayside. Um, I was trying to make it to the wayside. Let me make a small adjustment here. I was trying to make it to the wayside, but... Uh, it was a 0.6 mile trail downhill and the notes in uh, far out said that it was very steep. And I didn't see a real need to go there since I charged up my battery yesterday um, at the campground. Um, stayed at the campground, they weren't open, um, but I was able to get some, some coverage out of the rain for a bit, so that was kind of okay. Um, I you know, pulled into the shelter a little later than I wanted to, but not a big deal. Had a nice time at the shelter, hung out with Popcorn. His two boys were out hiking with him for a couple days. Got to meet them, nice young men. One of them even brought me a gift magic beer and I had a slice of their leftover pizza. So that was fantastic, thank you there. And uh, who else came in last? Oh, yeah. We saw, uh, oh, what was his name? <laughs> My memory's going. Can y'all tell? That's why I'm recording this. My short-term memory is it's fading. Ah, his name was Pinky. We saw Pinky last night come in. He pulled like a 30-mile day straight into the park off of a zero. He refreshed. He's going to be passing me here soon. He's got a big day planned. He's going to go well ahead of me. And uh, he was sharing that he wants to get to... Uh, Harper's Ferry by May 1st. Kind of get back back on track with his original schedule. So, uh, yeah, he's he's got some walking to do. All right, I'll leave it there. Enjoy the scenery. Go outside and be kind to a stranger. Watch what happens every time you do. Yeah. Make your own sunshine. Smile. 
Well, 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 what do you know? The time is now 1024 and I've gotten my first 10 by 10 in quite a while. I can't even remember the last time I did 10 by 10, to be honest with you. Uh, 1024 and I'm 12 miles into the day. That's 18 miles, by the way. Sometimes you know, there's a little extra, like when you run off the trail to a shelter or a hut, as they call them here. So uh, yeah, my first 10 by 10 in quite a while. I'm pretty happy. 10 miles by 10 a.m. That's what that is. I'm gonna have to start thinking about some other challenges, things to keep me busy out here, because quite frankly, just walking sometimes gets a little boring, although the morning has been very, very pretty. Extremely beautiful. The trillium, I think they call it, all over the sides of this mountain when I was coming down it. Beautiful stuff. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs> good morning everybody everybody good morning good evening good afternoon whatever it may be wherever you are watching this day number 66 out on the Appalachian Trail yes it's a dry day today cold but dry we about 32 degrees when I woke up this morning hard to get out of that sack at 5 a.m. but the Sun is up I've since taken my rain pants off. Stopped once already to do that. Put my snacks into my pocket. Forgot to do that this morning in the cold. And the sun is up behind us, all beautiful looking. Yeah, you saw that in the intro there. So the warmth shall come. This is day number three at my getting up early and starting to hike before sunrise. Now I started that. As soon as I started it, the afternoons have been cool and breezy. I only had one real afternoon where it was kind of really, really hot. However, I'm glad I did it because inevitably as we get closer to summer, it's definitely gonna get definitely gonna get warmer in the afternoons and I'd like to be sitting in a hut or at a campsite by that to be honest with you so that's it the plan today my initial plan is to walk about 21 miles it's two huts up I don't remember the name of it birds nest three maybe but that would only leave me like a three or four mile walk into Luray tomorrow. 
which is nice for tomorrow because I'm going to take a, a Nero in Luray at the hostel, which I just forgot the name of it. More to come on that. But uh, yeah, that's what I got going on today. Not expecting any bad weather. Should be nice. The sun's coming up back there. There he is. There it is. But uh, yeah, I say we when I say I'm traveling today. We are going to be at a spot because I'm traveling with popcorn uh, the last couple days. He was traveling with another group and got behind me and took a day off. Or so, and I've seen him on and off the trail. Well, actually, I had the same start dates, but I didn't start bumping into him regularly until about a week ago. So, uh, yeah, he's up ahead. We've been bouncing back and forth the last few days. Kind of got our plans synced up where we're staying. And uh, I think he's convinced me to visit that hostel. So uh, I'll have a nice day there. Alrighty, that's what's going on. That's what's going on, everybody. If you don't mind, hit the like. If you want to see more, subscribe. That little bell notification. When I start releasing more videos, it'll pop up and you'll see the latest and greatest. All right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you watching. Stand by for more beautiful views. More beautiful views. Here they come. Thank you, Big Meadows Lodge, for the coffee, Starbucks, and a sandwich. We missed the restaurant, but uh, maybe we'll catch the next one. Y'all, hey, check this view out. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic up here. Let's go this direction. I own this little rock ledge here. Thank you. 